But first, the time is 6.40. Alex is tossing all the pumpkins, so he's ready for Christmas. Bring it on. Yeah, and so that's the other caveat about this story. How to toss your uncarved, or how to save your uncarved pumpkins. Because right. those, those can last till Thanksgiving. You can try to save your carved ones, but you're probably only adding like two or three days onto their lifespan with the tips there. But yeah, that's coming up here in just a moment. First though, Mother Nature getting the memo that Halloween is out of here and it's time for Christmas. A live look over downtown. It's 42 right now with a wind out of the north at about 10 miles an hour. And today we're only going to make it to about 57, 41 right now over in Roberta, 40 in Forsyth, 37 in Monticello. I do expect all these numbers to continue to drop here through the next little bit until the sun comes up sunrise this morning, not till 750 across the state, finding even colder stuff up towards the north, 38 right now in Athens, 37 in Atlanta, 35 in Rome. How about Blue Ridge checking in at 29? Meanwhile, we look at the feels like temperatures and it feels like it's near freezing in a lot of spots. In fact, it feels like it's at freezing in Monticello, 33 in Forsyth, 34 in Roberta, 36 here in Macon, 38 in Warner Robins. What's happening in is we saw that secondary front come through during the overnight hours and we are continuing to cool off because of that. We are also looking at a dry radar picture. So even though the front slid through, we're calling it a weatherless front. No rain associated with it. It's a whole lot of colder air. In fact, so cold that by noon we're still hanging on to 49.50 in a few spots. And this afternoon only making it to about 57 or so for high temperature before we cool off later on tonight. I expect to get colder than what feature view is showing here. And we have a freeze warning in effect because of that here through the overnight hours. Then into tomorrow, getting a couple degrees warmer across central Georgia than we will be today. And then we're going to continue that trend into the weekend. So for Friday here, waking up a couple degrees warmer than for Friday afternoon. Again, getting closer to that 70 degree mark before we cool it off once again. A great night for football Friday night, albeit just a little chilly outside. Here we go into Saturday. Dry stuff continues on into Sunday. Yep, looking at much of the same. Those green specks there, I don't think that's going to come to fruition. I think we're going to be looking at a dry weekend across central Georgia. So I have us getting down to 34 this morning. We'll see if that happens. I think it's, there's a good chance of it. And then 29 tomorrow morning, followed by 32 Friday morning, beginning that warming trend back closer to average through the weekend. And speaking of closer to average, we have been below average in terms of rainfall to round out the month of October. Look at this. Since October 14th, we've only picked up one one hundredth of an inch. So even though we picked up uh, about a half inch more than we should see in any given October, that did not come in the latter part of the month, and now we could use the rainfall. So at the bus stop this morning, breezy at times, 38. The temperature heading home today, 57. We'll do it for a high sunrise right around 752. Winds out of the north, 10 to 20 today, so it's going to make it feel a couple degrees cooler than that 57. Then for tonight, 29 the overnight low old man winter coming to visit and bringing a freeze warning right along with him. This is going to be for all of central Georgia. If you have plants susceptible to a frost or freeze, make sure they are protected tonight across central Georgia, north, south, east, west. Everybody included in that. Here's your seven day forecast 61 tomorrow after 29, the 29, the overnight low there. 70s through the weekend for high temperatures as we fall back Saturday night into Sunday. 75 for Election Day next Tuesday with a 20% chance of rain.